Okay, yeah, welcome back to uh, the tutorials on Pymol. Okay, and in this particular video, I'm going to be showing us how we can generate, you know, a 3D view or a surface view of our protein, okay, with our ligand after molecular docking, okay, or you simply want to visualize a particular protein with a ligand. In each surface view okay or we in different formats you want to what, visualize it okay but my main purpose of bringing my protein and my ligand here is simply to generate the what the surface view or the 3d view of this in particular interaction okay so um first of all i love working on a white background so i will change this to a white background by simply going to display hit on display okay then i'll go to my background and I'll change it to what to white. Okay, so this is what I have. Okay, this is what I have. Okay, the next thing I need to do is to go to my action. Okay, I want to get in my my active site, my polar, you know, region of this particular protein. Because if I don't get the polar region, I won't know where the the, the ligand is situated. So I need to get the word the polar region. Okay, so how do I do that? I'll simply go to my all. Okay, this action now is with respect to all I want to perform now. So I'll go to action in all by clicking on A. A means action, S means show, H means hide, L means label, and C means what color, as I've explained in our introductory video. Okay, I'll go to action, I'll go to precept. Okay, once I go to precept, I'll move by this stuff that come out. I'll go to what? To the ligand side. Okay, that's where the polar. The, the, the active site is okay where the interaction of the ligand with your protein is taking place okay I'll go to my ligand site and I will change my ligand site to what to cartoon okay can you see what has happened can you see what has happened okay it has exposed the, the active sites you know interacting amino acids that's what you can see like this okay that's what you can see so to see this more I'll simply go to my protein and hide the cartoon of my protein using a H button okay I'll just hide the cartoon and once I hide it look at what I have okay so this is what the the active site amino acids interacting with our protein if I move or if I change the different conformations of the the ligand you see how can you see the how the ligand is still just moving around inside this word active site tell you that this is what this is simply what the active site of this particular protein okay so how do I do now? I've located the active site. I need to select these active sites amino acids, okay? So that I can easily words, color them differently or, or, or define them differently and always refer to them anytime I want. So simply what do I do? I'll simply do what? Select by clicking on them. Make sure your cursor is on the line before you click. Your cursor is on the protein, on the different amino acids before you click okay if you click outside you will deselect everything or if you don't want to deselect you can hold down the, sh the shift button okay and be selecting it's preferable you hold down the shift button and be, de and be selecting so that in case you make mistake by clicking outside you won't have to deselect or start everything afresh again okay so i'm trying to select or highlight the different amino acids found in this particular word active site okay or what we call the polar interactions okay this is what um okay i'm almost done selecting them i'm almost done selecting them okay uh it's fine let me work with what i have already in your own you can select everything okay so this is what i have i've selected them remember i didn't select the what the the the, the ligand here okay so i'll simply what go to my selection as I start selecting, another column will appear here, indicating the word the selection I'm making. I'll simply go to the selection and go to action of that selection. I want to rename it so that it will be a different name, okay? I will now rename it. An option has come for me here to rename. So I'll simply delete this and write polar interaction, interactions, okay? And I'll hit on enter and it has shown what here, okay? It has shown here so i'm done selecting the polar interaction then i need to select the word the ligand too 
Once I click on the ligand, it shows me selection here. So I will also rename it by going to action and rename. Then it pops up here for me. I will save this as what? As ligand. Okay. And I'll hit on enter. Okay. And I've what? I've saved my ligand. I've saved my, I've saved my what? My uh, polar interaction. Okay. I can simply now go to what? Go to my, my all and continue my what? My actions or functions I want to perform with it. So in our next video, we'll continue on this particular step. We'll stop now. Thank you and see you in the next video.